Hey, what's going on, guys? Chad's here with another reaction for you. So the gameplay footage for Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed, which is coming out for Xbox, PlayStation, and the computer, has just came out. Um, I did not get to watch it yet, so um, here it is. And before that, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And get me to 2,000 subscribers. And with that said, guys, let's sit back, relax, and watch this playthrough. I'm extremely excited about this um, as are all the Ghostbuster fans because we get to play, you know, with each other and also customize a character now, so which is awesome. Uh, let, but let's get right into this. All right, here we go. We've been excited to uh, show off this stream for quite a bit. Yes, we've been waiting. We've been wanting to show you all what progress on this game is. Yeah, it's, it's extremely exciting to be here. I think I've said the word exciting about 18 times at this point, but it basically I don't know what other word are, do you use <laughs> uh, there's other words but I can't think of it right now because I have yeah. too much else on my mind anyway uh, just for anyone who doesn't know um, just to give a kind of a brief rundown uh, if you didn't have any idea what Ghostbuster Spirits Unleashed is it's our, our um, latest project we're, we're building a asymmetrical 1v4 um, experience based around the Ghostbusters franchise uh, we kind of kind of give you a basic idea we, we imagine what it would be like um, to, to take part in that first scene uh, at the Sedgwick, uh, basically. You know, what, what was it like to be in the, the day in the life of the Ghostbuster? Um, so we're gonna be showing off and kind of focusing a lot more so for this first stream on the, on the Buster side of things. Um, so we, we'll be just kind of showing you off uh, the firehouse. We're gonna be going into the gear and awesome. gadgets. Awesome, awesome. Kind of showing you how different things are working, the, the, the general gameplay around that. Um, so. Without further ado, I think we're going to roll things off. Unless I forgot anything, Aaron, yep. in our introduction. No, I think you covered it. I mean, just to reiterate, like, this is just to uh, show off the, the busters. Like, we're we're not going to go too much into some of the other things because we'll do that sometime in the in the future. Um, but, yeah. I yep. think I think we're good. Cool. Well, yeah, nice. I'm gonna switch over. Um, yeah, and I guess just uh, oh, here we go. Cool. Yeah, firehouse. We are in. Oh, you get to walk um, around so the firehouse. Kind of a, a, just a kind of a pretense to this. We are playing. This is a an old yes. that we cut off a little while ago. Um, so it is still in development. There's lots of things here. There's things could happen. It's a pretty solid build, but you know, just when you're showing early things like this, there's always a chance that such stuff goes uh, walk through the firehouse. Wrong, but Come that's on. just part of development. Bugs exist, and we're working to. We're currently. I, I jumped into this build from the other day, and it's shocking how far we've we've made it since here. So while there's still a lot of really cool stuff to show off on here, it's it's rocketing from this point on. So. Here is the firehouse. I know that we've showed this off in a few different, uh, awesome. few different spots um, at, at different points. Looks good. Some of our marketing stuff, uh, but this is going to be me actually running around here with Aaron. Looking, Hello. Looking, like, don't get so close to me. What's wrong with you? Get as close. To <laughs> okay. Go back off if you need to. But yeah, so let's let's wander around the first floor a little bit. Um, we actually have. And some you'll more. you'll notice that we we do have some people in here. Uh, we got we got some of the. Uh, some of the QA team helping us out for today's stream, uh, and Joe, who's on social, but Kevin, uh, Kevin and Thorne will be helping us out today. Yep. Wanted to make sure we had a nice full, full match full of all these great busters that we're gonna do. Okay. So anyway, firehouse. Let's go over it. You can obviously see that we have the Ecto One. Amazing. All, all its glory I can't wait to here. stream this. Um, this is a, a big part of the game. We're not gonna be going super into depth to each of the access points here in the firehouse but we are going to tease and kind of give you guys an idea of what you'll be doing in here it's it's the it's the hub it's the lobby uh we we felt it was extremely important to bring people into this setting uh if we were going to do a ghostbusters game because there there's been firehouses winston before, but like we wanted to make sure that this is your home oh dev look at winston <laughs> Completing these these different t uh, busts, like we wanted you to be able to have some place to call home, um, and what better place than, than such an iconic location? Uh, but anyway, we have customization at the lockers. Uh, I'm not going to go into that here, but you can yeah. get a little yeah. bit of a whiff of it from from what you see on the on the other guys here in the in the lobby. Yeah. Um, we've all we've all changed our characters just a little bit. There's actually quite a lot of stuff that we can change through customizing. 
Yep, it's, awesome. it's pretty immense, and it, it's continually becoming one of our favorite things about this game. Like, we really wanted people to, to be able to make themselves um, and, and make sure that you're able to have all the flexibility to make the buster that you want to make. So there's a lot. We went a lot of – we put a lot of time into making sure that that feature was, was really, really uh, robust. So that's really fun. Mm. Um, Volume is pretty low. Is uh, anyone else – I think the volume is too low. We can we can make some adjustments right yeah, now. Yeah, we definitely can. Which volume? <laughs> or or we can In start general? yelling. <laughs> volume sounds fine. Well, this is the 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 yep, classic. For first person that says it. Well, which is volume the one is right. it? In general, or is it the game? Like, what do you guys want to hear? On some more some more game volume. Game volume. Game okay, volume. okay, there you go. Well, I turned that on purpose because when stuff starts popping off, it gets a little bit loud. So. Let's just bump up that music a little bit. I'll do it soft oh. right now because, believe me, it'll get louder later. So I don't want to go too crazy. Okay. So it's clean. Off this one. This it's one's clean, the man. Important. I'm extremely huh? excited about that. You're, you're right behind you. What? TV. You just want to show me the TV and that was it? Yeah, this is this is the most important part. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> um we have of course the the entire setup we've gone and recreated as much as we possibly can um you know you see have access point side hustles are basically you know your, your classic challenges um dailies and weeklies and whatnots and some other some other fun stuff in there that we'll get to at some point um this is where you'll be picking up your different jobs as a buster uh, you can see Kat over there in the corner. She's one of the characters. You'll le definitely learn about her, more of her later um, as we, not in this stream specifically, I should preface, but um, let's go down to the basement now. Check it out down here. This is probably one of my favorite spots. I mean, I like a lot of the spots in the firehouse, but it's basement for some reason. I, uh, maybe it's the containment unit, but it's pretty awesome. This looks uh, great, man. I'm, I'm extremely happy. More info about that um, coming from our uh, partner uh, who's working on that stuff, uh, Nighthawk Interactive. Um, it should be pretty soon uh, that you guys will get all that info. Thank you, Aaron. It's like um, um, Dead yeah, Island kind of loading space. Yeah, um, to interrupt me at any time. I guess Fortnite kind of look at characters, which is pretty cool. Just move our way through the firehouse. Um, we'll go so far, next. I like how everything looks. Little like the house looks really here. real. Man, all these looks clean. Uh, yeah. The players look kind of look a little yeah, cartoonish, but it's fine. I can deal with that. Wow. The upstairs of the firehouse. You got all these spots. Looking pretty cozy. Yep, yeah, this is where your spore, uh, spores, molds, and fungus collection will live as you collect them in the map different mm -hmm. locations and we will be uh playing through a match uh after this and we'll be able to see some of those things in game yeah come in here to the lab this is where where eddie hangs out another another character that we can get into later um and of course this is where you're going to be doing some of your your gear customization and getting these because all the all the gear is and we can go into that a little bit more later once we start overviewing each of them but we have built systems around upgrading um the different attachments across all of your gear so that the the, the different effects and different um gameplay emerges as you begin to unlock different things and build different combinations mm -hmm. so well what what kind of what can we customize exactly? We can customize the particle thrower, customize the proton pack, we can customize the PKE meter and the ghost trap, of course. All okay. the main staples, which we'll go over inside the uh, once we jump in game. Can we use this pole? Um, let me make sure there's nothing else up here. I yes, use we're the good. Pole, use the pole. Watch me use the pole. Wait, you're going down this pole? <laughs> go. I'm going down to this pole. You can go down the other pole, but I want to use this one. Okay, well, I'm going to come down this one, too. Just don't be at the bottom when we run into you. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hazard. <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, hey, Winston. Um, okay, hey, Winston. so that's the firehouse portion of the firehouse. You go outside. That's awesome. To move out into the alleyway in between. Um, I mean, 
check the alleyway out. We've we've set up a practice area. There's a lot of different things in this game, and it's we felt it was really important that uh, that everyone has access to and can can practice with all the different gear because there there's some complexities around each of them, and it's good to be. So raise a cult. And, and we we also set up another customization spot here. Same thing as upstairs, where you can very raise bookstore. Quick, quick swap different things, test out your gear. Going there, I want to see if raise there. All the things that are necessary. As you're Oh, you, got, you have a score. Yes. Uh, it does track your streak, so if you're, you're wanting to get really professional with it. Um, I don't remember what my high score is on here, but it's pretty uh, Three digits? Pretty crazy. Um, no. <laughs> it wasn't three digits. It gets pretty difficult towards the top. Okay. That's the firing range. Now we're going to move into Ray's Occult books, where we obviously are going to find Ray. Yes. Um, Dan Aykroyd. Of Right now, Shepard. You didn't see him, Aaron. He actually jumped up. So, yeah, it's always Shepard time. Um, were you gonna interrupt me there? No, I wasn't. Okay. So we have the um, we have the bookstore over here set up. Um, Ray is here. It's once again kind of part of the narrative progression stuff that happens, um, as well as having access to. We have some collectibles. Uh, basically, each each of the different locations has um, has some some backstory tied to it that you'll be collecting, uh, and you kind of get to find out you know what the what the different locations are, um, kind of from a from a point of why they're so supernaturally charged. So, um, let's see. I think that's did I forget anything in here? Mm. I want to make sure we run through everything because if people can see it all. There's there's access to the... Um, th this will also be the place where you access the Ghost Realm. Not going to get into that on this stream, obviously, but just to call that out, this is where we do have Ghosts playable, um, which we've, we've brought up before, so you will access this to uh, go to another spot where you'll you'll be working with um, the, the Ghost side of the hub. And the Ghost Hub looks really cool, and we're really excited to show you all all of that stuff but i need to stop saying excited because <laughs> a much better word, word for that word of the day um come on let's get some gameplay i, I think we're good i think okay. we can just go straight into let's play some gameplay match come on. yeah start so, showing some things off gameplay yeah, gameplay the come on that we'll have here, come on um, get to the gameplay now we're gonna be Get there! Kind of taking it now. Just to, just to <laughs> highlight through some of the some of the different aspects of it. It's not going to be. Get to the gameplay. Uh, it's not going to be like a full full gameplay. Like we're not going to be tryharding on this one. We just want to make sure that we're giving you guys a a good look at everything and kind of understanding what how everything works um, and which different things are going to be happening. Shepard, not now. So unprofessional. Not now, Shepard. Uh -huh. Let me just make sure that everyone's ready. Okay, it looks like everyone's ready. Let's get through it. Is this the beta or demo? This is an alpha. Nice, okay. Aquarium. Ooh, Cat's tips fine. And tricks. When he, he crawls all over me, then it becomes an issue. And it's difficult for me to... That focus. means he loves you. And then That's he falls off and you know, his claws mm -hmm. are going to pop out and start scratching okay. me. That's extra love. See my lovely character. <laughs> Why did you make your, your chin so big? What do you mean? <laughs> What's wrong with that chin? I think that's a perfectly <laughs> fine chin. Show them how okay. to do this perfectly downtown. fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Like everyone's seen the like I'm assuming most people have seen the museum if you have seen any of the gameplay. Yep. Um, we're gonna we're gonna show uh, we wanted to keep it on here because once again the focus of this is going to be going over the busters in general and kind of what they're all about what their goal is um, each of these locations the, the the main goal of the busters of course is to, to bust the ghost whereas the ghost is going to be uh, trying to haunt the location oh look at that perfect shepherd lay right there perfect looks so majestic back there so we can start off with the particle thrower um, this is can I, can I break some stuff? I want to break some stuff. Uh, well, let me just do it. wait, wait, wait for. I'm gonna do it. Wait for that, Aaron. Let me, let me get. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, fine, do it. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tippered. Long you show it off. I will. Please show it off, Jordan. Things, it's getting tangled in stuff now. Oh my goodness. He didn't bust anything, did he? So the particle thrower. This was probably one of my favorite things uh, to to design because like a bunch of a really cool part about like working with with different movie IPs, especially Ghostbusters. Is there's always something extremely iconic, and a big part of this one was was bringing it into first person and getting the thrower in your hand because we really wanted that feeling of like you're stepping into this position, you're picking up the particle thrower for the first time, and you're you're understanding and getting to feel the power that it packs. Um, and we've seen it in movies, and you know we've played it in games, but we really wanted to focus on getting this this power um, from from this first person's perspective, as well as you know begin to to think different ways we can kind of work it into the like what would it actually be like to step into the, the boots of a buster and, and like actually capture a ghost um, that's actually another player at the same time because that that like PVP element's pretty pretty difficult to translate so the, the particle thrower is the the basis of that i'm just gonna start firing at things so you see the... oh so there jesus there is christ a ghost, and you'll see it in a in a second um and it, it can be either ai or a player but right now i believe kevin has taken control of the ghost uh, something else that's very cool about the uh, particle throwers. Uh, Jordan, look at me. Oh, sorry. So he's taking it out. Yeah, what were you showing? Just look at look at the look how sweet it looks in third person. Yeah, we'll shoot it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Nothing okay. In there. But yeah, so the particle thrower is your main device. This is the thing, like, you'll, you'll see as I'm going around, there's there's a lot of different objects. Like, all these different objects are possible hiding spots for the ghost. Um, there is just generally a lot of damage that can be done around the maps. Um, destructibility, because once again, we wanted that that's part of the design of, of this device, is it's, it's firing this extremely powerful beam that needs to, needs to destroy things. Um, some of the best is when you come up with Get, get some of the, the smaller objects flying around. A lot of fun. A lot of fun to use this thing. Uh, you'll notice it's it's built off of, you know, it's taking its energy from the proton pack, which is heating up. Um, a big thing about, you know, game design working along with the IPs is that there's there's some things you need to kind of build towards a gameplay. Um, it's kind of finding that merriment of, of um, gameplay and staying true to the canon as much as possible. You know, Oh, look at that. There we go. We oh, there's a ghost. Okay, I was waiting for that. I was like, what there's the hell? I'm all over it. And how how exactly does the ammo He's work for, for this? So, yeah, so like I was saying, proton pack, it begins to build heat. You'll see the, the on my right side of my screen, it's starting to build up. Um, and then there's two different options. You can two manually vent it at heat. any point, which Pausing doesn't allow you to fire. Or if you're in the middle of craziness and you don't get to that point you will ghost, end up ghost. getting to the point where it uh overheats which is a much longer cooldown um, and you don't want to be in that position because yeah. you're nice and vulnerable that entire time oh and thirty thousand dollars in damage believe me that is you can see uh first. it in third person as well what happens let's see if i skip oh, ahead it's, it's going to take me a second i just like turned and looked i want to skip ahead so bad what do you say <laughs> <laughs> Did you say my name <laughs> stuff for that but so that's the that's the main portion of you know the particle thrower you're destroying objects and then like it, we know it comes down like you come on that, just that like uh, get some ghosts throw some other stuff out man come on come on guys that's that's kevin oh it's kevin sorry kevin he drops some yeah, don't be rude here. okay oh. let's just blow these guys up kill them with me aaron another minion down we keep in store so yeah that's the uh, Many times when the ghost is, is throwing different abilities at you, you can use it to interact with a lot of that. Um, so the last kind of big part about this, probably the biggest portion of this, is the is the um, the tethering system. And this is this is the part where okay. like it, show it us, comes down. Show to us the grabber. Like when you do have a ghost in your sights, like what what would it actually feel like to to get the part the the proton stream 
wrap around the ghost and then be in control of that, getting him into the trap. Um, I'll get into more detail when we actually go over the trap here in a bit, but just to give you kind of an insight, we have the, the build up uh, portion of this as well as the actual tether for me. Let's, uh, let's all attack. Well, I just overheated because you tethered okay. too late. <laughs> throw the trap, throw the trap. I think you're just bad at managing it. No, I think it's your fault because I had to let go. Okay, okay. but th you'll, you'll see that like while I have the, the primary control of the tether, some buddies can latch on as well, and that will that'll actually increase the strength of it, making it more difficult for the actual ghost to, um, to break free of that. Um, so the idea is to get him get him on the line. It's mm -hmm. like a fish. You gotta, okay. you gotta cast out, get him on the line with that quick build up. Yes. Then you have the control. The, the ghost can fight free. Um, but the, your whole your whole goal at that point is to get it in the trap. Um, look at that! Aaron. Look at that! Aaron. You got control. Up, down. Throw up. the trap. I want to see. Okay, you can Throw the trap. Your, your actual movement. So you'll see I'm like walking back and forth. That'll help position him as well as being able to pull left and right, uh, left, right, up, down. I've never actually gone fishing, but this is what I imagine. This like. is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I never um, really got oh, yeah. I guess we, yeah, I guess we could call that out. Like since, uh, since man, that was good. Room, uh, you'll notice I mean, the, it's the, the messed up. He's never been fishing before. Uh, but the ghost is pretty funny. Said that specifically, it's it's kind of creeping in over here. But since we're kind of focusing on here, yeah, we we may actually have to pause the haunt level. It's uh, it's getting up there. Pause it, Aaron. You pause it. <laughs> I can't remember the what's the command again. I don't remember the command. <laughs> Damn, that's the command. L, L. One of them can but, do it with the cheat command, so yeah. we'll see. Because you can talk, talk not, a little bit about the haunt as well right now. Yeah, so, so perfect time. as we're watching it happen, like the, the rooms get taken over, the building in general is getting haunted, but you can focus spe specific rooms. Um, we'll get, you can get into that more later on the ghost side of things, but it is going to kind of influence the way that busters play because what happens is is these different civilians that are that are existing throughout you've probably seen them fleeing <sighs> they wanted to get out of this room pretty quickly um but it is part of the busters uh, guys i'm gonna skip ahead i just want i want to see what else is in here because i'm over and show let's see um, at, at a big portion if you're if you're kind of a ways away you'll, you'll notice that they're they're still reacting but they're not raising quite as far when i sweep back and forth but as you get closer they're gonna raise and you kind of use that to, to kind of sweep to be able to track down the signal and get a good good distance on it and then of course once you get into to a tight range you'll see that the armed lights are actually lighting up red to, to signify that it's right on top of me um, so that's the arms you'll notice the the three lights beneath the screen Kevin if you fly up in the air you notice that it actually switches based on height differences so that if the if I'm down a floor I'm getting a signal. It's, oh, that's cool. It's pretty obvious that I've got him above me. It's not like the other uh, game, you know, like you, could, you had to like action, figure out where the all well, the statues were and stuff. But like you're like, what floor but is it? It's, it's kind of giving you that that hint. Um, and then on the left side, it'll show a down arrow. Um, next portion of it is detecting what kind of signal exists. And you'll see on the screen, it's it, the screen dots are what's dictating the type of signal. This is a this is a ghost signal. And that's gonna pop up whenever the ghost is around. But at the same time, Kevin, if you wanna haunt that trash can and then fly away. Haunt it. There we go. <laughs> so the ghost has the ability to haunt objects, um, which puts them into a state where they are floating <laughs> around. They're giving that's a cool. signal. <laughs> and that's it, cool. It, it, you can haunt objects, that's nice. What the, what the ghost is um, to kind of throw you off. It and expel the ecto or the PKE, so it, it, it gives away that false signals. Um, this is the no signal state where there is no PKE signature in the vicinity. Check me. Huh? Am I good? Is there any ghosts? You seem like you are not a haunted entity, so I think we're fine. Um, and then the fat for the last thing, which is going to kind of segue into something else here, kind of game mode related, is riffs. Uh, riffs are Ooh. okay. Hey, I just want to know what the riffs. Yeah, that, no, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Kevin read my mind. Uh, basically, the 
the rifts are are going to give off a signal that you can see now. You can see the upward trend uh, of the dots, and that's that's telling you that a rift is in, is hidden in this object. Um, it's now that we found a rift, which Kevin brought right to us. Yeah. So we're going to and you can see on the top right corner of the screen as well. Yep. Um, we have to destroy all the rifts, and there is the progress on that on the top right corner of the screen. So, rifts are basically the ghost respawn points. Okay. Um, at a high level, they allow the ghost to come back if we trap him. So it's imperative that the busters get rid of all the rifts in the map because the ghost will keep on popping in. Each time he pops in, it consumes the rift, it remanifests, and that knocks a rift off. So you can destroy them, or you can focus on capturing the ghost. It really depends on how you want to approach this situation. Uh, different games call for different methods. It really depends way too long yeah i hope you didn't wait, hide it wait too. is it in okay, here he made it easy <laughs> okay good it is in here right. take care of it aaron so uh, you can see oh it, yes it, that's what i wanted to see okay good now picking this thing up oh, we got the rift thing rift over here as well and um we saw the ghost but it didn't seem to we can try capturing the ghost okay. i'm excited don't be silly the rifts here too? Good, okay. Running out. So a, a cool thing about the trap that we set up is the ability to activate at any point. So I usually like to get them. Uh, you might not want to put it right next to the rift. It's too late, Aaron. It's too late. Okay. We'll get one of these. Oh, oh there he is. Well, he, he popped out of the, the other one, so that's perfect. So as you can see, it, it destroys the rift once that happens. Nice. Yo. Yay. Okay. Well, cool. And now all the rifts are destroyed. So yeah, this is the. We hit this before. I mean, the building got haunted. Obviously. I wonder if there's gonna be a single player. That's what now I'm really. I'm really to, like. Kinda, I really want a single player. Else, Please make mm, get, make I a single player or like just a story mode. Sorry, with things. other people, just a story mode, please. We need we a story mode. Have if you don't have a story mode, I'm gonna be very extremely hook. pissed. The vertical ascension device. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is one of our. Uh, oh, that's cool. One of the, the gadgets. <laughs> we got so the bat. The bat. Uh, sure what the hell is a freaking Batman's got? Uh, cool what the frick is it called? Things, uh, what the show is called? Batman's thingy. Jeez, my brain's not working today. Blah, blah, blah. The, the way that these maps are, are designed is, is very. Ver there's a, there's a lot of verticality uh, because the ghosts can fly around. Floor. We thought it was. It's very important to be able to give that ghost the opportunity to kind of use. Not, not that I'm gonna actually manage the fact that. The All right, let's see what this gear out. thing look is now. Well, you are looking at I'm it looking now. I'm looking at it. Uh, not, not that I'm gonna actually interact with it, but this is where you're gonna be able to resupply your trap if it's ever damaged or destroyed. Ah. Oh. You can resupply your different gadgets and you swap to a different secondary gadget. Which oh, that's cool. We're okay. Going into and revealing more later because there's some cool stuff in there. Um, there are um, oh, some. Some collectibles around the map. Wait a second. Did you see that move? Aaron. <laughs> I think it's the wind. <laughs> it's, this is not the wind. Um, did not you the show wind. Oh, the, I didn't show off the, the PK I didn't. meter. Oh. This. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is. I don't know why I missed this. So, uh, something that we brought to get to this, uh, the PKE meter, kind of specifically for the, the type of game, um, is, the, uh, is the PKE pulse um, or PKE blast. This is basically a way to expel the ghost <laughs> from different objects, as well as uh, as well as uh, stun him in, in midair. So like this will this kind of gives you an option. So if you're oh, I thought it was gonna be like the objects, the thing from uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Just kind of like try when they to just uh, test an area to see if you can get him. Uh, uh, oh, it. oh, it is okay. It is it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Okay, cool, awesome. So it flushes them from objects, it stuns them, and then you have to wait for this rather lengthy reboot. So you are without your, um, uh, what's it called? PK meter. PK usage until this thing is back up and running. So you got to use it wisely. Well, but it is very. Uh, He's not a true Ghostbuster fan. Show what happens. He keeps forgetting things. You get downed as well. That's and what everybody's gonna be saying. They don't really abilities. care. They're just game devs. They don't care. Show the, oh, well, I think oh, they, <laughs> oh <laughs> damn! The ultimate, right? 
I've been slimed. Uh, I we could use the next match to go over some of that stuff. What happens when you get up? Let's see. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll clear mine and I will revive you. Oh, or okay. Joe, uh, actually, Joe can come revive you. He's right next to you. Yeah, I'll let him do it. Yeah. So, there's no permadeath or anything, permadown, whatever you want to call it. There's, mm -hmm. you are able to get back up and, and into the fight. It's not something we wanted to completely strip you of the ability. And, oh, there's doing his little thing right there. Lord. But, uh, Your hopefully, chin's too big, Jordan. rather effective, so, yeah. <gasps> A lot of, a lot of different, yeah. There's just, there's just a lot of different things that go into like the, the flow of kind of how these games play out. It's, it's pretty interesting. Well, until we go out, I'm just gonna start destroying stuff. So, so yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of talking. I feel <laughs> a lot of, a lot of talk. Oh, the uh, the pre-order. It's now oh. available on. Well, actually, you can just. Go check our website, ghostbustersSU.com. Nice. Pre-order. More info. And we can, if there's anything we missed in the last segment, then we can go over it now. Um, there's going to be future content in which we go over some of the other things, like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be on Rift duty to begin with because. Oh, they're they're actually gonna play now. Okay, cool. I'm not going to want to uh, perform this match with all think, the rifts staying alive. I think uh, we should split up into two teams and try to find. Oh, come on. I keep oh. with him. Yeah. I didn't. Oh. But who just dropped down those? Oh, watch out. We're too grouped up. We are too grouped okay. up right uh. now. <laughs> we all grouped up. Are Lots of cool things coming out, but hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight into the excitement that we're feeling around the development. All right, yeah, I skipped uh, ahead, guys. Yeah, Sorry, I just, I couldn't sit through that stuff anymore. Um, the game seems like it's, uh, um, it's, it's kind of interesting, you know. Uh, it's, eh, I don't know. It could be, it could be a lot better. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of indifferent. I like. I, I was getting bored of just watching them go back and forth and stuff. And I don't like to sit here and just, you know, bullshit on stuff. But uh, yeah, the the game. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it because I'm a Ghostbuster fan. I'm a freaking super Ghost head. So um, I'm gonna give it a try. But I just hope it's not a letdown. And I hope we have like an actual single player um, mode. Uh, that actually, you know, that actually <laughs> entertains me. <laughs> it's sad to say that. Uh, I just, I'm scared. I'm just, I'm, I'm a little scared of uh, what, what it's actually going to be like. You know, um, man, uh, I, I don't know. I just got, got a weird feeling off the, off the game itself now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, down below, are you guys going to pre-order and everything? If so, let me know. Um, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.